Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Fight the Dragon. We got an attribute point last episode that we still haven't actually done anything with, so why don't we go ahead and do that. Let's put it in... I was gonna say endurance, but for a lot of our stuff we need like endurance 6 and there's no way. So why don't we put it in defense instead. Well, defense and strength aren't even though. I want them even. So put in strength. More damage is good. And... We have ourselves a dragon ring. We have two dragon rings, actually. Oh, probably because we did enough damage to the dragon, and I can't seem to do the highlighting trick properly. The hell? <laughs> Something screwed up with this game sometimes. I don't know if it's because I'm recording weird or what. Anyway, we got a ring that lets us do extra one-handed damage with a one-handed sword, but... We only have a one-handed axe right now. So let's go ahead and add a random adventure here. Zombies in town. Clear the town of zombies and find out who's responsible. Sounds like a thing that we could do. And they're going to give us lots of potions to begin with. Okay, I can appreciate that. What do we got here? Lots of rage. Okay, five health, four rage. That's pretty good. Thank you for answering our call, hero. The dead are rising and killing the living. Try to get the survivors hiding in the tavern and see if you can help them. Okay, I can do that. Let me switch over to our one-handed axe here. Because what deals better... Oh, it's going to be all these guys. Okay, I'm not sure about the axe animations here. It does good one... Good against one attacker. It's not good for groups, though. This is clearly for one at a time, which works now. But yeah, I'm not thrilled about this. Well, I'm, hopefully these aren't all these kind of zombies, although I think that's the only kind of zombies there are, huh? There's the ones that get up once, and then there's the ones that get up twice. Oh, this is going to suck already, I can tell. Okay, you know what? We're going to jump over here. They move slow enough that I think we can do this. Switch to our greatsword. Yep, that did it. Okay, we're going to run over here to the spawner and take care of it. Because these guys are going to get up, and that's going to be a pain in the ass. So the less there are, the better we are. Yeah, kill this guy. Alright, two hits. Nice. So I'm not sure what does more damage. Our one-headed sword that we had last episode... Or this greatsword. I'm kind of going to say this greatsword, but I don't actually know that. Okay, well, maybe, you know, you might not have a zombie problem if you didn't have an open, cursed coffin in the middle of town. You know, just saying. Maybe that should have been your first priority. It's all right, though. I can take care of it. And for some reason, I'm targeting behind me again. That's totally my bad, though. That's not the game. That's totally me. For some reason, not targeting the actual enemies. It's very strange. Alright, is there anything behind these buildings? No. No way out there. No way out there. Okay. So let's... I guess it's time to go... Oh, I was going to say it's time to go inside the buildings. I guess not yet. Yeah, these guys falling down and me not being able to touch them until they get back up again. Stupid tub thumpers. Hate you guys. Oh, and he gets up three times. Or twice, rather. He has three lives, I guess is what I meant to say there. Yep, three lives. Okay. Um, that's bad. I don't like this guy. I guess we switch to our ranged weapon here and try to take out what we can. Uh, intercept, please. Yes, okay, good. Intercept, thank you. Always nice when that works, except when he goes <laughs> behind me. Okay, good. He's taken care of. So it's not just the zombies. That's good. I appreciate that. Zombies by themselves are just a little annoying. I was hoping that maybe this would be hiding something cool, and it's hiding a checkpoint. That could count as something cool. Extra life would be nice here. 
Can't get inside that door, but I might be able to get inside this door. Oh, bombs. Okay, we're good. A little bit of damage, but alright. Oh, requires a silver key. Alright, so much for sneaking around the back. Um, I wonder if I was actually supposed to do that later, but I don't see anybody yet. Another bomb. More zombies and a spawner. Take care of the zombie in front of me and then spawn. Oh, they're trying to burn the bodies, huh? Well, that's what you do when you have zombies, is definitely kill them and then burn the bodies. There we go, spawner's taken care of. There we go, take care of there's somebody on the far side of the spawner. We got here, axe of speed. That's not going to help. A one-headed sword would be kind of nice. Not having to worry about my health nearly as much would be a nice benefit. Because I'd have the, the shield. Don't have a shield now. I'm not too worried. I mean, our health is still up to full. We're not being overwhelmed. We could have been, but we're not. Oh, this guy's going to do another life here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Missed you the first two times. I don't know how the heck that happened. Alright. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Another spawner? No. Two zombies. Okay. And for some reason I targeted behind me. Oh, really? Really? I really want to be able to do damage to these guys when they're on the ground. I think being able to do some kind of coup de gras move would be totally viable here. But they're really annoying that you can't hit them until they get back up. There we go. Gloves of myth, huh? We'll see about that. Is there seriously no way inside these buildings? Another checkpoint. Well, there's a key thing here. Emerald key. That was not what I was looking for. I don't really want to open up any of these chests right now. But I guess I'll open up this one. Just gold. But I don't need the extra potions. I need a way inside these buildings. So, okay, one of these uses the emerald key. Which one is it? Hard to say. All the doors are barricaded. Which makes sense, actually. Well, there we go. Actually got in here. And what do we got? Oh, these are more potions. Um, yeah, more potions I don't need. Please take damage from the bomb. I did. Oh, I must have taken all the hits. <laughs> I stood right in front of it and blocked it for him. Not that it would have damaged him anyway. Bad guys don't seem to take any damage from bombs. Yeah, we can get in here. I think all the villagers have turned into zombies. Sad to say, I don't think any of them are who they used to be anymore. Okay, come on. So what do you think? Is there a necromancer? There's probably a necromancer, right? Though, wouldn't he have a skeleton? That's usually what necromancers do. Yeah, having to defeat each of these guys three times. I'm just giving me, you know, dozens of them at a time, at least. You know, try to overwhelm me a little bit. Silver key, okay. This is a three-timer, isn't it? Okay, well, got some decent stuff from the crate. Okay, so where's the silver building? Probably next door, but is it next door across the street next door? Or is it next door, like, catty corner next door? It's hard to tell. Okay, so let's try across the street. Though, this doesn't seem to have a way in. Um, yeah, there's no actual way in. That's weird. There's people in there, so there must be a way in. Oh, that's right. This required the silver key to get over here, right? Yeah, okay. A teleporting zombie? That just sounds like a horrible idea. And it didn't help him at all. Okay. Well, being able to bounce back and forth between two groups is something I agree with. That actually makes it a little less horrible to deal with. Come on. Take out you 
you guys. There we go. We get the boots of heroism. And you're dead. Again. No key chest. Maybe in the next room. Yeah, there we go. Well, yeah, these guys are so annoying. Ruby key. Okay. I guess... So we don't have to defeat these guys. We can outrun them easily. If we knock them down once, we can just run away. The thing is, though, we wouldn't get any experience or any loot if we did that. Yeah, see? Like the Sword of Vigor. So let's go ahead and switch out to the Sword of Vigor here. Being able to use our shield could be beneficial. We know I'll switch back if we need to. Okay, Ruby. Well, it's hard to say, actually. Ruby could be just here next door. I can't tell until we knock these crates out of the way. Must have been here. Hey, scared girl. Don't know what to do. Pensive man. Is this the end? I warned them about using undead as cheap labor. Really? Really? Using undead as cheap labor? Yeah, that seems like a really bad idea. I agree, sir. That was pretty dumb of them. Oh, hello, crazy man. Just want to get drunk. Drunk until I forget about this mess. Drunk. How about you, tavern maid? Have you come to stop the dead? The priest said holy water might help, but it's locked in the church. The only one with the key is the priest, and he went in the back to pray hours ago. Don't go back there. He wasn't to be disturbed. Um, I think I see zombies back there. There's a golden... requires a golden key. And there's a leecher guy there. Leecher's gonna be a problem. Um, how about we rage up here. We do lots of damage to this guy. Oh, it's only gonna help a little bit. Because they still have to... Oh, man. Rage totally doesn't work in this context. I mean, I guess it helps against the spawner. There we go. But the leecher, man. Come on, take care of all you guys. Yeah, well, the leecher's not too bad. We do have full health potions. And leech doesn't always activate. Oh, man, it's a four-timer. Hate that. Okay. Die already, please. Die already, please. Thank you. Just a vigor. So somewhere around here is a golden key. Also a sapphire key, according to the bottom indicators. Yeah, and according to that door. So how much you want to bet behind the sapphire key is the golden key? I would bet good money on that. Um, is there any reason to be back here? No. Then why do it? Um, so how do we get in here? So, we've already been in that room. Yeah, we've already been in here. Where the heck is the key? are the keys at? Alright. Uh, maybe we go around this back side here. We did that already. There's no secret walls or anything. They don't open. At least they don't look cracked. So that won't work. That doesn't do anything for us. Sometimes it's all about a hunt for the keys. Occasionally my key blindness comes in. So it could be they just haven't dropped yet. There's no other way through here, right? Yeah. And we didn't miss a key here because we had the key chest and it dropped. I think that was where the ruby key dropped. It's weird there's no key inside that room, though. Maybe there is. Maybe there is inside the tavern. I just missed it. Yeah, there it is. It's behind the tavern maid over here. Golden key? Yes. Okay. There's just a bunch of gold. Yeah. Alright. It's, uh, adventure expenses. That's what it is. Oh, hello, rats. It's kind of weird to see rats in here. They're not even zombie rats. 
Any other keys? No, just a bunch of gold. Not even loot, huh? Just gold? I need to work on my luck stat, I think, in order to make that work properly. Sure, we'll go ahead and hit the checkpoint. That's kind of a weird alleyway thing there. And I take it you were the priest. Not anymore. And I, of course, stepped right on the... Oh, no. Here's the priest. Did he get eaten by a zombie? How did that work? Um, I'm guessing the zombie holds... Oh, no. I was going to say the zombie holds a sapphire key, but there's a sapphire key right here. Well, if the priest's holy water trick worked, it would have worked by now, right? Okay. So, now that we have the sapphire key, we can go ahead and... Guessing, go through that door right there. So back through this door, go around here. Okay, so here we go. Probably the boss battle, if I had to guess. Um, I can't seem to move past this, so I'm gonna have to bash through these crates, huh? And of course, there's a bomb. Why wouldn't there be? Yeah, rage doesn't exactly work for this, but. I'm doing it anyway. That guy? That, there's no boss here. That's weird. I really expected there'd be one. Um. Huh. Maybe he'll spawn later? I don't know. It's weird. The fire starter and leecher combination there would seem more deadly, but it's not actually hurting me all that much. I mean, okay, there is a constant drain on my health, but it wasn't that bad. I expected that to be a lot worse than it was. I also expected a boss. Why don't we have a boss here? Are we just in the wrong place? There isn't the way out yet. Lots of nice little chests here. Thank you. Appreciate all that. Um, but there's also no way out. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um... Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> Should have expected that, I suppose. Um, I'm expecting something horrible here, but nothing horrible's happened yet. There's a demon skull there, or possibly just a bull skull. Oh, yeah, of course. All right, there's an eyeball guy in that next room. But that's going to be annoying. These guys are just zombies. Just take care of them. Any minute now. Come on, guys. Take all the back up. I would appreciate, like, a dozen skellymen instead of these guys. You have to wait for them to heal. Dead yet? There you go. Red crystal. Can't even use it. Um, sure. You got some gold for me? I can't even take any more potions. There's no reason, no reason to open up those chests. Eh, gold is good. I think we have all the keys now. Yeah, okay. So we have a raging frostbite eyeball here called Grilix the Peeper. That's a pretty good name. Oh, that was clever. Okay. Oh, and we have ourselves a ghost demon here. Just run all the way around until he runs out, and then hit him. He's raging, but that didn't stop me from killing him. Rage up myself here, and take care of this guy. There we go. The gassy healer we took out last. I kind of expected the healer to do a better job there, but not really, which is why he's saved for last. He should be easy enough to take down here. There we go. Wand of Might, totally useless. I suppose I give it to my Frost Mage, which I haven't touched in I don't know how many episodes. What do we got here? Oh, we actually have ranged guys, huh? Okay, we'll take out the spawner first, because that seems like the most critical danger. And this guy's terrible with his arrows. What the hell is up with that? I mean, those arrows are coming nowhere near me. I mean, seriously. Missing by a mile here. I expected to hit every single time. So the spawner is actually spawning Skeleton? 
I wasn't paying enough attention to this, what the spawner was doing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Rage up, and then kill Mr. Mergliz the Vile. What the hell of a name. Okay, he's taken care of. We'll take care of these demon men, maybe. Maybe. Um, I think what we'll do is rage up. So that way they can't kill us, basically. And we can do nothing but kill them, I think. There we go. You can do silence if you like. Somehow he blocked me. How did you do that? Well, being able to knock you silly is an appreciable skill there. There we go. Yet another zombie who can't go upstairs. Almost as bad as a Dalek. Well, Daleks can float, but or hover, or whatever. They can fly, basically. Zombies can't, though. Can you imagine a zombie on a jetpack? No, that's just too crazy. No one would ever do such a thing. Except, of course, you know, the mad scientist in Resident Evil, who would think that would be an awesome idea. Um, do we have the way out yet? Because we found the necromancer. Yeah, there we go. There's the way out there. I think we just take care of this last zombie man. Because the villagers are apparently no match for the zombies. One priest got totally wrecked. And of course, where there's one zombie, there will always still be more. Okay, but that's it. We're done. Do we get a boss chest? We totally get a boss chest. Alright. Love me a boss chest. Lots and lots of stuff in it. Might be better than what we're currently wielding. Okay, so grab all the gold. Actually, that's pretty terrible gold haul there, but whatever. Okay, and we're good. We're out. We run. That was pretty good. I, I hate zombies. I hate that they fall down and you can't hurt them again. I'm tempted to give it a neutral just for that. But it is called Zombies in Town. So if you go into this mission and don't expect to fight zombies, come on, pay attention. So I'm going to rate it up just because I think it was decently done. Nice layout. So let's look at our equipment here and see what we can see. Pretty bad altogether. Shield, not that great. Helmet. I don't know, doesn't have regen and doesn't give that much better of a bonus, really. So, I don't think I care. No regen and bad stats. More damage with eye staffs, which we don't use, so not helpful at all. Requires strength 22, luck 9. That's way more luck than we'll ever have. Gloves of Myth are decent, kinda. More down with the clubs, which I don't think I've used a club since I don't even know when. Enemy set on fire. More HP from potions. Yeah, okay, we'll do that one. We can go ahead and sell everything else. Oh, we should have used that dragon ring. This dragon ring. Yeah, ring of blades. The ring of skill we can get rid of. Um, this one here. Kind of tempted to keep the Ring of Blades. Yeah, that one might actually be decent. Although it does mean we'll do less damage with the hatchet. Huh. Maybe we end up selling it then. Because less damage with the hatchet. I mean, that wouldn't take effect during the dragon fight. Because dragon rings are nullified during the dragon fight. So, maybe it doesn't matter all that much. Although, in a mission, it would totally matter. We fall off. Where do we go? Oh, we're back up here. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and fight the dragon. The end of the episode. Seems about time. He's down to his last 144,000. So, still a ways to go. Um, actually, I meant to change out the weapons. Did I totally forget how to do that? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big strong dragon. We do 50,000 damage to you, you'll be down. Well, we do 44,000 damage to you, rather. 
You'll be down to your last hundred now. Too much, too much damage, too much damage. And I'm dead. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to dodge. That was bad. That was really bad show there. Yeah, I think I was right when I said what we should do is just get down to half. And then just stay there. And build up rage. Just enough damage to be below half. Not too far down though. What is with me today? Just not able to keep where I want to be. I was able to do it last episode. Come on. Oh, too much damage. Too much damage. Stay, away, stay away, stay away. I'm going to zoom up anyway. Oh, also too much damage. Sometimes the dragon just gets you. It happens. Sometimes it just eats your face. With a nice hollandaise sauce. You might think holiday sauce, faces, how barbaric, but you know, dragons don't have much in the way of civilization. It's really hard to tell if this dragon even, you know, knows how to talk. It could be he's the one who's taunting us when he says ready for a thrashing. But it also seems weird that he's not sitting on like a pile of gold. So I don't know, I don't know how traditional this dragon really is. And just take all the damage, take us down to half. There we go, that'll do it. That's more than enough, thank you. I'd like to take no more damage. Just dodge between the raindrops here. I'd really like to do somewhere around 30,000 da damage to this guy. I don't know if it's going to be possible on this round. If I can do 44,000, that'd be pretty cool. I would take it. Yep, yeah, that's okay hurt a little bit there. It's fine. Just don't go too far into the light. Oh, I did not step on that trap there. Almost there. There we go. We're up. Now it's just you and me, buddy. You, me, and the rest of the internet. Yeah, I think we've been using the same hatchet for the past... I don't know how many episodes now. 30 episodes? Something like that? Maybe not that much. Seems like it though. We'll just take all the. Oh, oh, no! Fell down! He knocked me aside. That was actually pretty good of him. Yeah. Okay. We're good. That's enough for now. Alright, thank you guys for watching. This has been an episode of Fight the Dragon. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe too. And I'll see you guys next time.